In the previous video that I have presented, testing uh, this uh, equalizer module uh, by means of music uh, input source uh, and then uh, manually uh, accessing the uh, EQIC solution by changing the mood from the normal to rock to pass, classic and jazz, the turbo bus and the What we're gonna do is that uh, we just um, see how is the signal changes compared to the input whenever we change the mood and the function. Let's do that. Let's see the changes of the output uh, signal when we uh, access the um, EQIC mode and the function. So the mood is, uh, comes with the normal so this is the output signal which is uh, currently now in the normal mood and I'm going to uh, change that to Raka so this is the signal output for Raka you may see how it is compared with the input signal I will change now to uh, Pops Classics, Jazz, and back to normal. Rock, Pops, Classics, Jazz, and back to normal. Now it is easy for me to uh, uh, identify if um, the output signal is um, changes as soon as you changes the mood eh? let's see the turbo bus function so the turbo bus is an as you can see uh, the low frequency component is uh, boosted here turbo bus off we may not be able to see that uh, let's see if we can lower down the frequency um, the 100 hertz okay let's access the turbo bus now there you are um, what's this is the reference point uh, and uh, this is uh, signified the low frequency component of the signal so when I turn the turbo bus it goes up like that so it's mean to say that um, at lower frequency like uh, 100 Hz here then uh, you can uh, really see that the low frequency component of the signal is uh, boosted uh, heavily turbo bus on, turbo bus off let's see the response of the 3D sound now it's in the uh, 3D sound is off and there you are I think that uh, because the input signal is um, um, identical uh, stereo uh, we can say that the left and the right is the same and um, the uh, um, IC consider that, that the signal is identical so instead of uh, uh, providing a better uh, uh, 3D effect uh, it uh, does attenuate the signal to understand about the 3D function what I did is that um, I left uh, open the input signal this is uh, for the uh, left channel so the output signal is um, zero and then uh, I just uh, input the signal to the right channel so I am now monitoring the output signal of the left channel when I turn on the uh, 3D effects so uh, now is a uh, 3D sound is off and there is no signal on the left channel let's turn on the 3D sound
that's on and now we got a signal so it looks like that the, the uh, 3d effects uh, do some like a uh, cross mix of the left channel and the um, right channel I'm not quite familiar with the uh, processing but um, that's what I get from this uh, little experiment trying to understand the effect of the 3d sound let's see the resulting signal when we mix the uh, uh, functions and effect as well as the tone control so currently now the uh, bus is uh, posted at uh, 10 dB the treble is boosted at uh, 4 dB and uh, the turbo bus is N 3D sound is N and also the EQ is on the rack with the volume control of about uh, minus 7 dB and uh, here we go we can see the output with the given setting and if we change that to um, pops classic chess normal rocks and if we give the change the signal to sine wave then um, we cannot identify it even we change the um, EQ. So it is really important to have the square wave signal when we are evaluating a tone control parametric test. So the, the next thing that I have to do now after the uh, after this test, I'm hungry now and um, get here the mocha and uh, my favorite uh, thing to do in the morning is a coffee. And the next thing that I'm going to do is about this um, uh, class D amplifier. This is now uh, being uh, uh, assembled. I'm 80% uh, assembling it. So um, we will going to deal with this uh, class D amplifier soon or later and uh, we're going to integrate it into the uh, equalizer module and control module and put them as one system so stay tuned guys thank you again